Here's problem 29.7. A segment of wire carries a current of 25 amps along the x-axis from x equal minus 2 to x equals 0, and then along the y-axis from y equals 0 to y equals 3 meters. In this region of space, the magnetic field is equal to 40 millitesla in the positive z direction. What is the magnitude of the force on this segment of wire? Let's imagine what we have here. We have a segment of wire carrying a current from x equal minus 2 to x equal 0 and then along the y-axis from y equal 0 to y equal 3 and then we have a magnetic field directed in the z direction and the magnitude of that field is 40 millitesla. Well we don't know um, well we do know the angle between our current direction and our field but let's try this using vectors. Uh, we should have that the force is equal to the current times our length vector crossed with our magnetic field. So in this case, that's 25 amps. Our length vector is going to be uh, 2i plus 3j because we're going uh, first in the positive x direction, 2 units, and then the y direction, 3 units. And that's going to be crossed with the magnetic field, which is 40 millitesla, and it's all in the z direction, k. So from this, we're going to have 25 times 40 times 10 to the minus 3. And then we're left for our cross product of 2i plus 3j crossed with k. Now, that's 2 there. Now, um, as we talked about before, we can use this mnemonic device IJK IJK and if you use this device going to the right you end up with the positive number. In other words if I were to have I cross J my, my answer would be positive K or if I were going to the left if I were to have K cross J like this, my answer would be negative i. So using this mnemonic device uh, to the right gives you a positive next letter, to the left a negative next letter. Alright, so in this particular case, what are we going to get? We get 25 times 40 times 10 to the minus 3 which is 1 and then I have uh, I cross K. So looking at my device, I cross K should give me a negative J. So I'm going to end up with a negative 2J for that. And then a um, I, let's see, a 3J cross K. So J cross K will, should give me a I. So I'll have plus 3I. Or in order, that would be um, 3i minus 2j newtons. That is our force, our vector force on this, on this segment of wire. We want the magnitude of this force. So we want to um, square the components, add them together, take the square root. So if I take 3 squared plus 4 squared, I'm sorry, plus 2 squared, I'm sorry, I get the square root of 13, which is 3.60. So the magnitude of our force is 3.60 newtons. So that is the answer. Magnitude of the force on this segment of wire is 3.60 newtons.